Hi friends, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to show you three ways to embed or link Excel data with PowerPoint. Let's go! Here on the right, I have a simple Excel spreadsheet with some address information in it. And then in PowerPoint, we've got three different slides for each of the three ways we can do this. The first two ways I'll show you will keep your PowerPoint slide in sync with the Excel workbook. So let's see the first way to do this. For this one, we're going to insert upon the insert tab. And then over here under text, or depending on the size of your screen, it might just be object. So text object, or just go to object. And then on this dialog, you want to say create from file, and then browse to your Excel file. In my case, I'm going to browse to the addresses book that I have open there on the right. I'll select this and say OK. And then you also want to click on this link checkbox here. And that'll give you a description of what it does. Basically, it's going to create a shortcut to the file so that any changes that are made in Excel will be reflected here in PowerPoint. With that selected, click OK. And here we go. Let me increase that just a little bit so we can read it. All right, now over here on the right, if I make an update, let's say this top address, 81 Terry Avenue, will be 123 Main Street instead. Keep an eye on PowerPoint, this area right here. I'll hit Enter in Excel, and you'll see that updates in PowerPoint. If we go back to the original address, you'll see that changes in PowerPoint as well. So by clicking on that link option, that's keeping these things in sync. All right, the second way to do this, let me move to the next slide, is also with a link, but here we're going to paste instead of insert an object. So over here in Excel, I'll select everything that I want to include. And then you can either do a Control C for copy or just right click on it and say copy. And then over here in PowerPoint, what you want to do is come up to your Home tab. And then here under Paste, this little drop down arrow, click on that and then select Paste Special. This will give you some additional options for how you want to paste it, a similar dialog to what we saw before. Here you want to say paste link. So this option should be selected for you here. And down below, again, you'll see that it's creating a shortcut to that Excel file so that everything will be kept in sync. Click OK. Same thing here. Let me enlarge this. Now if we make the update over here in Excel, again, we'll do 123 Main Street. Keep an eye on PowerPoint. You'll see that gets updated. Now you won't be able to make the changes here, so if I right click on the table here in PowerPoint, go up to Linked Worksheet Object and Edit, this won't let you edit directly in PowerPoint, but it will bring up the Excel spreadsheet that you have here, and you'll make your updates here. 81 Terry Avenue, let's say, and that updated in PowerPoint. So these first two options will keep things in sync. The third and final option I'm going to show you is not going to keep things in sync, but it will let you edit in an Excel sort of experience directly in PowerPoint. Let's see how this one works. So once again, we're going to copy and paste over here in Excel. I'll grab everything that I want to copy, right click, copy. And then over here in PowerPoint, I'll right click. We don't need to do a paste special this time, but we do need to do an embed option. This one right here, embed. And I will increase this again so we can read it. Now this one is not going to stay in sync with your Excel spreadsheet. So over here in Excel, if I update this to 123 Main Street, you'll see that doesn't update in PowerPoint. But you are able to edit this. So if I right click on this in PowerPoint, go to Worksheet Object and Edit, this will give me an Excel type of experience that I can make the edits here. Go to the next line, State Street, let's say. And when you're done with this, just click out of it. And those changes are saved. But again, over in Excel, nothing is updated because this is not linked. It's just a good way to get your information over there initially, and then make your updates in PowerPoint, but with an Excel kind of editing experience. So those are the three different ways you can use Excel data in PowerPoint. If you found this helpful, check out some of my other videos in the Excel playlist, and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified of new uploads. Thanks so much for watching!